how do you know your kids are safe when they go to school? Bullying is a problem here in the Tri-State, and it's a story we have covered extensively for months. In our continuing coverage, we have learned Cincinnati Public Schools has changed the way it deals with bullying, and Superintendent Laura Mitchell spoke about those changes only with Nine on Your Side. She spoke exclusively with the I-Team's Hillary Lake. Really interesting conversation, Hillary. Very interesting conversation, yeah. How has the district changed its approach to bullying? Well, three things uh, right away. Number one, now on the school district's website, there's a what they're calling a bullying button. Mm -hmm. And it's about halfway down the page on the right-hand side, and it just says report bullying. Anybody can click on it. User-friendly. User-friendly. Yeah. Anybody can click on it. Um, there we have a, a shot of the website there. Mm -hmm. uh, and fill out an online report. It goes to school district officials. They check out the report. Um, the, a couple of other changes is they have added additional training for teachers and students. Um, the school district approved something like $70,000. Uh, yeah, not go, insignificant. No, it's not an ins insignificant amount at all uh, to go towards that type of, of training. Uh, and then they've also hired a, um, a, a social worker mm -hmm. that deals specifically with bullying cases across the district. So she's kind of the go, or he yeah. is kind of the go-to person. She works with families, teachers, um, kind of from the onset of those reports. Once they verify a report, I believe she helps verify the reports as well. But then once those reports are verified, she works with all parties. Wow. Yeah. Pretty comprehensive. Very. Let's talk about Gabriel Taye. Mm -hmm. The eight-year-old took his own life and his family blamed bullying at the school. The school has denied that. Uh, you spoke with the superintendent about this. What had she had to say? Well, you know, up until now, nobody yeah. from the top leadership of the school district had answered any questions on camera about that case about bullying with the school district. They just kept sending out, sure. you know, statements and and giving us data. And so the new superintendent felt that it was time to talk about this. So she sat down with me um, a couple of weeks ago before the winter break, and we talked about Gabriel Tai. We talked about um, these new um, po policies and procedures that they have put in place. And about the Gabriel Tai case, you know, because there is litigation, there's a civil lawsuit from his family. Um, she couldn't go into too much much depth, um, mm -hmm. but she did say that she felt like the school district had turned over the, the documents that they legally mm -hmm. are allowed to turn, ter, uh, turn over to Gabriel Taye's attorneys, um, and that she felt that um, basically she, she stands by what the school district has said in these previous um, statements. Does she have a heart for the case? She has a heart for the case, and she says the school district has a heart for the case. And I could tell by speaking with her that this has affected her very, very deeply. Anytime you lose a child, um, regardless of how that happens, um, you know, she said this mm -hmm. is, gets us to our core. Okay, I have two more questions. Sure. Family attorney, what did the family attorney have to say? The family attorney, um, I shared with her some of what the superintendent, um, how she answered my questions. And one of the things that the superintendent said was is that she's encouraging parents to keep the school district accountable. Mm -hmm. And the attorney said, that's great that the superintendent is saying that. She, she applauded the superintendent for saying that. But she also feels like there is an element of transparency that's not quite there yet with the school district. And in order for that accountability to work, the transparency needs to be there. All right, Hillary Lake, we look forward to your report tonight Thank at you 11. Thank you for the work that you're doing on Thank this you. really important subject.